welcome back to a new video. How you all doing? Hope you all well. Uh, so like we spoke about yesterday, um, we figured out that the tow bar is causing the fault light on the dash. So we're going to try and get it off. Um, it looks like it's been on a little while, so I think it might be a bit hard to get off. But we just need to follow the wiring back, and the main thing is just to get the wiring off. Whether we take the actual like tow bar like metal bit off, um, we're not too sure yet. We might leave it on just as a bit of extra protection. A lot of people have been saying that in the comments, and I think it's a good idea. Um, but we'll kind of wait and see really. The main thing is just to get the actual electrics off it because um, obviously that's what's causing the issue. So we figured out there's a clip underneath. We figured that out um, when obviously it broke down. But there's a wire that comes inside somewhere and I think it might be behind the light. Um, so I need to get underneath and have a look, see where it goes, how to take it off and stuff. Um, hopefully it's not that long of a job. Should just be a nice quick and easy one hopefully. Um, but I don't want to jinx it so let's get cracking. Because this is where he was testing it um, with his topar like thing and it was like playing up. He sprayed some DVD-40 in there, and since he's done that, it like the light's actually gone off the dash. But as me and Tabitha can't um, tow anything anyway because it's not on our license, we might as well just take all the wiring off just to be sure that it ain't going to come back on and you know, I mean, not going to mess anything up. But what I might do first is just try and take the screws out of this and just see what it looks like behind there, see if it's just that that's all corroded. Um, so that's what I'm going to do first, is just take this off. No, Ni seré el último, pero sé que lo gozaré. Right, so I've got the uh, plug socket off this. The bolts were all rusted, and when I was trying to take them off, they just sheared off. Um, but there was loads of tape in here. This is like the connection that actually sits inside the housing of this. Um, and there was loads of tape around all this. And there was loads of like, water and stuff when I like took it actually off. So I'm wondering if that was what was making it all short. Um, the annoying thing is it's not as simple, I don't think, as I, as I thought it was going to be. Um, obviously, now I've got this dangling off. It obviously, it needs to come off. Um, but my issue is underneath the van. So I'll jump under the van. I've got a torch so I can show you a bit clearer. And I'll show you like what my predicament is. I think I'm going to have to take both lights off and kind of see where the wiring goes. Um, and I'll show you why now. Right, so if I try and do this while laying down and follow it with a torch. So there's the connector that comes from the um, connector on the outside that I just showed you. I've disconnected that, and that is this cable here, this one. Um, but it all, they all run in, or well, that one runs in to all the other cables here. Um, and one runs off this side and goes into that light there, that light cluster I believe it is. Um, so I'm going to need to look at that. And then the other side, it comes off and goes into that side light cluster over there um, I'm hoping that is just like wiring to feed back from the lights to the tow bar because obviously it's got to send off like signals and stuff to the actual like a trailer and stuff when it's hooked up so I'm hoping that's what it is so I'm gonna get inside and have a look at that and the cape this like the main cable in runs all the way back like down to the front of the van um, so next thing is obviously I've disconnected that I've took off the actual like electric bit on the tow bar I'm going to jump inside the van and have a look at, um, behind these lights and see what I can find. Alright, so this turned into a lot longer job than I thought it was. Hopefully I'm not making a hash of this. Um, but I need to get to the wiring behind here and it's kind of down in this corner and I think it's behind like this tape, metal tape that's here. But to get to that, I had to take off the black plastic cover here and here, all that trim that goes around. And because it's like a what 11 year old no nine year old van um yeah all the screws are rusted and stuff so i've had to rely on some good old wd-40 and a bit of elbow grease to try and get them off but they're off now um so i'm going to remove this tape or whatever you call it aluminium cover whatever um and have a look behind there and hopefully it's a bit more simpler than i think um but i'm not confident because i can only see one cable coming in here and i think that feeds the whole electrical like system so yeah, this might be a bit, uh, a bit of a tougher removal than I thought it was going to be, but we we'll have to wait and see um, and get this off, and hopefully it's easy or easier. <laughs> right, so I took the tape off, and no, it's not behind there. It's kind of like in between. There's this outer skin, then there's an inner skin, and then there seems a gap where the cable comes up, and then there seems another inner skin, <laughs> annoyingly. But um, I'm not actually too bold about taking this off because if I have a me the torch, there's literally like loads of water in there and that's just sitting there and that would obviously do like some damage. So yeah, I'm kind of glad we took this off anyway just to like get that water out of there because uh, I don't want that sitting there. Right, so this is as far as I've got tonight. Um, I think I'm just going to call it quits for tonight and then 
crack on with it again tomorrow afternoon some research when I get inside. But like I said before, I've got it off there, and that um, if it focused on it, it don't look too bad in there. I can't really see that much corrosion or anything. Um, and then I followed the cable back. Let me actually try and get under the van. This is the hardest part. So I followed the cable back to that connection. Um, I took that connection off. It's made no difference at all. And then I followed that cable in from there up here, as you can see. And I've managed to get all of this shit out of the van. <laughs> um, but I can't find which one of these connectors it is. And it's all part of the same wiring loom. So all this is part of one like wiring loom, and it goes all the way to the front and stuff. And when I disconnected these light connectors, the actual um, main like light bulb thing there, <laughs> the main lights, um, stopped working. So I don't really know what to do, to be honest. I can't really find anything at the minute. It's going to need a bit more time, and obviously I ain't really got that tonight. So I'm going to call it quits, I think. All right, so if any of you have any experience on these sort of vans and uh, trying to take that wiring loom out, it'd be much appreciated if you could leave a comment down below um, with any tips or anything. But... Yeah, um, I thought it was just going to be like an actual separate wiring loom, but it don't seem like it is because it all seems part of the same like conduit um, that kind of comes from both um, like lights <laughs> systems on the back. I can't know what they're called, but yeah, the both lights on the back, and then they come down. Then the um, like wiring loom for the tow bar actually comes out of that same conduit, uh, and then that like the big chunky main conduit of all of that wiring goes to the front of the van. Uh, so I, I don't really know and when I connect disconnect the actual like just that little bit that you plug into when I disconnect that like bit of loom um, the the light's still on the dash again now so I, yeah it's kind of an annoying one because when we plugged into it yesterday with um, Richard's like tow bar stuff uh, and we was wigging it around the light was coming and going on the dash and then when we actually got the lights working for a split second the light went off the dash so we definitely thought it was part of this system, and I still think it is, but yeah, it's just not as easy to disconnect as I thought it was going to be, which is really annoying, really, because like, obviously I kind of just, yeah, just really annoying, um, but we're going to come back out tomorrow because it's cold, uh, and it's wet, it's been raining and stuff, so the ground's wet, I'm crawling around on wet ground, and it's not fun or enjoyable, but I think we're going to call it here for this video, so thanks for watching, it's been quite a short one, but don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.